Hey everyone, I'm Danny and welcome to Wizardry Workshop. For this video, I redesigned the cover for the Fantastic Beasts Secrets of Dumbledore screenplay. Before we get into any more details about this, I wanted to say a huge thank you to Jam City for sponsoring this video. You can download Harry Potter Hogwarts Mystery for free using my link below on your mobile device or tablet. As a reminder, I'm also hosting my own sweepstakes where I'm going to be giving five of these handmade Hogwarts identity cards to five random people, and the information will be customized for the winners. Stay tuned to the end to find out how you can win. If 500 people download the game using my link below, I'll go ahead and toss in another five, so that'll be 10 IDs. And if a thousand people download the game using my link, I'll toss in another 10, so that's 20 available IDs. In Harry Potter Hogwarts Mystery, you can customize your own character, choose your house, and live out magical moments as a student at Hogwarts. My favorite house is, of course, Hufflepuff, because I'm a Hufflepuff, and I've always felt that they were underappreciated for their loyalty and friendship. I also love seeing their common room for the first time and experiencing Hogwarts from a Hufflepuff perspective. When you download the game using my link below, tell me which house you chose and why. You can also master new spells and potions you can use in classes and for dueling other students and progressing through the storyline. My favorite characters from the movies are all here like Dumbledore, McGonagall, Snape, Hagrid, the Weasley twins, Dobby, and all of my favorite creatures from the Fantastic Beasts films. There's also a huge diverse cast of new characters to meet. You can be friends with them, you can become enemies with them, and some of them you can even date. I was really excited to see the freedom you have to customize a character that really feels like you, with a ton of diverse hairstyles and outfits to unlock. You can even decorate and customize your very own dorm room. You can also play Quidditch anytime you want, unlock and learn each new position, work your way up to captain, and progress through the exciting, unique storyline. And here's how you can enter my sweepstakes to win one of five custom Hogwarts IDs. Just download the game using my link below, progress at least to chapter seven in year one. You can go past that, that's fine. Screenshot yourself reaching that point and then tag me on Instagram or Twitter. I'll be picking the winners in a month. Remember, if we hit 500 downloads using my link, I'll add five more to the pot, so that's 10. And then if we hit 1,000 downloads using my link, I'll add another 10, so that would be 20 available custom IDs. Thanks again to Jam City for sponsoring this video. Honestly, when I saw this on the shelf, I was thinking, oh, cool, that version is out, but where's Mina Lima's? Because they did the first one, which is really cool, and they did the Crimes of Grindelwald. I was thinking, there's got to be another version of this, but there's not. Personally, I like this more, so I designed a cover to match this style. You can find links to all of the supplies I use to make this DIY, as well as the free downloadable templates in the description box below. Let's get started. First of all, I really do like this book. It's just really cool. On the inside, you will find like pictures and like concept art and stuff. This is just cool to have in there. Like, I love that they put some artwork in there. The only nitpicky thing for me is the cover. Because for the past two screenplays, we've gotten a really cool looking foiled cover like this designed by Mina Lima, and it just looks really cool and magical. Unfortunately, I couldn't find my Crimes of Grindelwald one, but they match, and they're the same size. And then for some reason, with The Secrets of Dumbledore, it just, I mean, it, it just looks like a DVD cover. Anyways, I'm gonna stop rambling on about it. I designed a book cover to replace this book sleeve. So we're gonna go ahead and make that. It's gonna be super easy, super fast. Let's do it. So here's my design. You can't see it very well right now because I haven't foiled it yet. Um, if you need a, a foiling tutorial, I'll link that in the description box. I've gone over it several times on my channel. Now you can either use a ruler and a rotary cutter or an X-Acto knife to cut the white off of this. For simple things like this though, I kind of just prefer using a, a, a paper cutter. It's just faster, I think. I did print this on a cardstock and that's on 11 by 17 paper. Next, we've just got to run this through the foiling machine. And I can actually give you one tip that's not in my foiling video. If you have some paper kind of like 
out the end of your folder like this, there's a reverse switch on here. So once it goes through, before it reaches this part, you can just switch it and it'll go the opposite direction to come out. Once it's foiled, it'll look like this. And now let's take this old cover off and put the new cover on. I found that the easiest way is to line up the spine first and sort of shape it to the book. This works out especially well if you used cardstock. And then you can just fold the sides in. And here is our completed, foiled, brand new book cover design. And we'll take a look at it next to Fantastic Beasts. And I'll put Crimes of Grindelwald over here so that we can compare. I think that's gonna look a lot better on your shelf. Here is the official cover design. Here is my redesign because I really wanted it to match these awesome book covers by Mina Lima. Let me know your thoughts on this. I am really loving it. I had a lot of fun making this design and trying to really stay true to the designs that Mina Lima did for the first two. If you made it all the way to the end with me, you're a wizard, Harry. Give the video a thumbs up down below if you did enjoy it. Subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.